hey guys welcome back to the channel and in this video we're going to talk about marking menus in maya so we have this empty viewport here and i'm going to take a primitive so if you press shift and right click then it's going to show you this menu and here you have all these primitives you can use in maya so we're going to start with a simple cube now if i press shift right click again it's going to show you a different menu and in this menu you have your modeling tools which work on the objects which are in object mode and you can use this strode your multi cut tool your insert edge loop tool or you can use the booleans but as soon as i go in the component mode and you can change that by pressing right click and it's going to show you a different menu now it is a selection menu you can change the selection from object mode to either face mode edge mode or vertex mode so let's try that so we can uh, right click and uh, go to face mode and it's going to show you this menu when you selected the object so if you don't select anything and if you right click on the viewport it's not going to show you any menus so you have to make sure that you selected the object and uh, right click it's going to show you this selection menu and we can go here to this face and just drop your mouse button and now you can select your face and move it around scale it or rotate it and we can do the same thing with the edges and vertices so you can right click again and change the mode to vertex face or uvs so let's try this edge and one more thing we have this multi here which means you can select face vertex and edges at the same time so we can select this face and at the same time we can select this edge and this vertex as well so this was the selection menu and you have all these options here you can invert the selection and you can select these similar parts in a model so i'm just going to change it to object mode for now and if i press shift right click and uh, select this extrude it's going to extrude the whole thing at once so if i increase the thickness it's going to extrude the entire mesh but if i go to my selection menu and select a face and then to use my modeling tool we just have to press shift right click and select this extrude face and it's going to give you the control over this face only and now you can extrude it scale it or rotate it now you can find all these tools in these menus but it's going to make your workflow faster if you use the marking menus so we have one more thing if you press ctrl right click and it's going to give you some more selection tools so you can use those if i go to my face mode and select this face and press ctrl right click and if i want to grow my selection so i'll just go to grow selection and grow and it's going to increase the area of my selection and if i want to select the edges around these faces what i can do is i can press ctrl right click and uh, go to edges and click on these two edges and it's going to select the edges around those faces which were selected so this will help you in your workflow and now if i go to the edge mode and select this edge press shift right click it will give you all these features and options to work such as this collapse edge or this merge edge to center let's try this so if i do this it's going to collapse this edge and merge both of its vertices together in the center and if i go to my vertex mode and select this vertex and again press shift right click go to merge vertex and we can use this target weld and we can select and just merge it anywhere we want like this so we have all these options and you can try all of them and see what happens and just play around in maya so i hope you enjoyed this video and uh, thanks for watching i'll see you in the next one